What's going on, guys? Ragnarok here, and I have a little bit of a rant to go on. <laughs> now, for the most part, I like Injustice 2. The game is very well balanced. There are a few little small things here and there I wish they would change, but for the most part, I enjoy playing the game. I like the DLC. I like some of the character looks. I love the way my character plays. It's just a game that I enjoy playing, but something has been bothering me ever since this game came out. And to start, it, that's the gear system and how it's implemented. So to show you guys, go to gameplay settings. You can see that, where is it at? Gear drop character bias is turned on. And it has been turned on since I had the game. Uh, this means that on paper, I'm more likely to get gear for the characters that I'm playing. And if you've been following me in any facet for any length of time, you know that my character is Scarecrow. I play him in 99% of the matchups, no matter how good or bad and that's where most of the videos on my channel come from. Other than January, where I took kind of the month off, I played maybe three times. Other than January, I have been playing Injustice religiously since it came out. And at this point, it is, what, March, so we're two months away from the first year anniversary of the game being out. So, ten months in. Ten months in, and I have yet to unlock one full set of epic scarecrow gear. Keep in mind, I have completed uh, probably at least a hundred multiverses. I'll have to go and look in the options. I know for a fact I've opened at least 1,002 mother boxes of various uh, levels. And I know because I did the math. At the bottom here, um, you'll see four different kinds of currency that you all are very familiar with. You have the credits, the guild credits, the regen tokens, and the source crystals. You can see I have 2.2 million uh, regular credits, 42,000 guild credits, 449 regen tokens, and 211,000 source crystals, all of which were gained through legitimate means. There are no exploits or anything like that. Just grinding, not really spending much. And as far as the source crystals, I have just got those from two hometown hero giveaway codes. The game has four types of currency altogether. So one thing I've asked for and they're never going to do it is the ability to use the in-game currency to purchase gear specifically made for your character and if you wanted to charge individually pieces that's fine individual epic pieces could cost more a full set of gear could cost a lot uh, you have plenty of ways to implement it why we have to do this whole random drop thing is beyond me and don't get me wrong I, you know, I do like sometimes where I'm playing Scarecrow and I unlock a piece for Starfire because I play Starfire. But if I was if I was that concerned with Starfire gear, I would mostly be playing Starfire with the gear bias turned on, hopefully getting some gear, or at the very least just doing multiverses for her and trying to unlock gear that way, which has not worked out that well for Scarecrow as far as the epic gear is concerned. Even doing the uh, character-specific multiverses that pop up to get some epic gear. I ended up getting repeats, but we'll get that, that's where I'm going with this. So, 10 months in, not a single full set of epic gear. Yet, if I look at Scarecrow and all the gear slots, I've unlocked his full gear slot. So, 100 pieces, whatever it is. I have filled this whole slot, or this whole box up, and sold all of the rare, minus the few pieces I actually use, and all of the common dozens of times over and that's not an exaggeration i literally mean dozens of times i've emptied this out outside of the epic gear including the overflow still no full set of epic scarecrow gear yet and here's where my biggest complaint comes from if you look at my gear specifically we'll start with the hooks where i have one two versions of the vein sever one two three versions of the hellfire hook that all look exactly the same. They just have different gear, or different uh, stat abilities, excuse me. Why that's a thing, I don't know. I would assume that in most instances, you would get one piece of, like the Hellfire Hope would be its own item. And if you really wanted to adjust the stats on it, you would use either the regen tokens, or you would just implement some way in game of adjusting the stats for every item. Maybe off of skill points, I don't know. If you're gonna go that far into the RPG realm, go for it at the legs. Now the legs took me the longest time to get. I think I went the first two or three months without unlocking a single epic leg. And I, as you can see I don't really have all that many. 
right now. So I have one, two, three versions of the patho sorry, path oh, pathphobia greaves. I'm tired, leave me alone. Still waiting on those last two pieces you can see on the bottom right hand side. Not sure I'm ever gonna get them at this rate. So three versions of those. So that's not too bad. Keep in mind I have three versions of the Hellfire hook, so three is the common number here. Let's look at the arms. Oh, hold on. So the arms, I have one, two, three versions of the fearsome RX Skull Totem. Two versions of the scraps. Again, still waiting on those last two pieces. Hopefully I get them. This the jacket. The jacket's actually we'll set the jacket for last. Alright, so the head. I have one, two. Two versions of the brain spike. Thought I had three, but uh, let's see. Croft form cowl. I have one, two, three versions of that. Two versions of ra razor face. Okay. Here's my favorite: the jackets. So I have, let's see, two versions of the pneumonic straight jacket. Okay. I have two versions of the hangman's final victim, and I have three versions of the marrow spike. One, two, three. Okay, are you ready for this? I have one, two, three, four. I thought I had five. Where's the fifth one? Let's see. Raven Soul. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, I have five. No, this is not the count from Sesame Street. I literally have five Raven Soul coats. Now keep in mind, the Raven Soul coat is my favorite coat Scarecrow has. But I don't need five versions of it. Especially that they all look exactly the same. Just have different gear abilities. So, I really wish I could just buy Scarecrow's gear by itself. I clearly have more in-game currency than I'm ever going to use. And I know this because I am out of things to spend source crystals on. I've unlocked all the shaders of the characters that I play actively so why there isn't like an in-game store where i could just purchase specific ah, specific gear pieces or gear sets i don't know and it's it's driven me crazy it's the one non-competitive thing i really have to complain about next to the online sometimes and the online's be a whole other video that's going to come up here soon from something i had to sit through and ranked on a stream but one thing I'm hoping for, and they're not going to change it in this game, it's too late, but for future games, like Injustice 3 or Mortal Kombat 11, if they're going to implement a gear system to customize the look of a character, I'm all for it, whether it's MK or Injustice. If you want to do a random system, that's fine. I'm all for it too. But please, 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 just have like an in-game store or whatever, where if you don't want to sit through the endless grinding of mother boxes and multiverses to unlock gear for characters you don't play, just to sell it to get the credits to buy more mother boxes, hoping to find gear for characters you do play, rather than avoiding all that headache, just give us the ability to buy gear or costumes for the character themselves. You can do both, it's okay, I assure you people will love that. But just no more of random and that's your only option. Because I'm really tired of getting like epic deadshot helmets for a character that does not exist in this version of the game. Floyd's battle mask. Looks like a bandage. Very symbolic. Same thing with Captain Cold or Gorilla Grodd or Joker. Just, just stop. Just stop. But anyway, that's my rant. I know I'm not cursing and swearing and up and down. I'm not trying to, you know, stroke out. But just please, for future games, if you want to do random, that's fine. Just please have the ability to pick items or gear for the character you play with the in-game currency. And with that, I bid you all good night. Seriously, five versions of the Raven Soul Coat. Who needs it?